This is the relay center in the car. They'll be in various locations on vehicles. Some even have them uh, inside, some even in the trunk. And if you have a defective relay, um, there are relay checkers. Uh, most technicians obviously have these. And uh, what you can do is actually remove, if I can get one of these out right here, wiggle it out. Yep, here it is. Here's a relay right here. Uh, again, you can remove them and you can actually ohm them out through pinpoint checks. You can check for power at certain points. Uh, another good way to check them if you don't have any special tools is substitute a relay. Find a, take a known good one out and just uh, exchange it for a minute and see if it uh, corrects the concern or the issue that you're having. That's another good way. But uh, if we look at the cover right here, as it goes on, the one I pulled is right in this corner right here, so that's fan number one. So if you have a fan that doesn't come on, the engine's running hot, um, that would indicate uh, possibly this would be a good place to go to check this relay and uh, make sure it's working. Of course, you want to make sure the relay circuit's also fused, that, that that's working good. Again, um, this can be checked. You don't want to just randomly replace it because somebody told you that you have a bad relay. You want you want need to prove that, uh, that it is indeed defective.